And if you're just joining us, you're watching the news on Clairview Television. When we come back, we'll bring you stories on women and children. Stay with us. The news continues now with stories from our area of specialization, women and children. After the main transmission of our news, we rebroadcast on our YouTube page, Clearview TV. Do you operate a women or children's NGO? Are you at the helm of affairs of a government establishment or a corporate organization involved in the affairs of women and children? Then you are our partners in progress. We have a mission, a mission to better the lot of our women and children. Join us to celebrate womanhood and work assiduously to better the lot of the Nigerian child. This is our mission. In sharp contrast to the Nigerian situation, Britain's Conservative Party this Monday announced Liz Truss as its new leader to succeed Prime Minister Boris Johnson and confront Britain's deepest economic crisis in decades. The Foreign Secretary comfortably beats her rival, former Finance Minister Rishi Sonak, by about 57 to 43 percent after a grueling summer-long contest. Uh, decided by just over 170,000 conservative members, a tiny silver of uh, Britain's electorate. In a short victory speech at the announcement in a central London convention hall, Truss said it was an honor to be elected after undergoing one of the longest job interviews in history. Truss, a seven, uh, 47 rather, will be only the UK's third female prime minister following Theresa May and Margaret Thatcher. She will formally take office this Tuesday after Johnson tenders his resignation to Queen Elizabeth II. The leadership contest began in July after Johnson announced his departure following a slew of scandals and resignations from his government, including Sunak's. Truss reserved a portion of her short speech to praise Johnson's record, including on Brexit and the COVID pandemic, and said he was admired from Kiev to Khalil's. We need to show that we will deliver over the next two years. I will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow our economy. I will deliver on the energy crisis, dealing with people's energy bills, but also dealing with the long-term issues we have on energy supply. Men of the Ogun State Police Command have arrested the General Overseer of the beloved chapel, Israel Adebayo, for allegedly defiling a 14-year-old chorister of his church at Aguado in the Ifo local government area of the state. The State Police Public Relations Officer, S.P. Apimbola Oyeyemi, disclosed this in a statement on Sunday. He said Adebayo was arrested following a complaint lodged by the mother of the victim. The PPRO said the mother noted that her daughter was a choir member in the church, adding that the pastor lured her into his room and allegedly had carnal knowledge of her against her will. The police image maker said upon the report, the DPO Agbado Division detailed his detectives to the scene where the pastor was promptly arrested. On interrogation, the pastor who admitted defiling the victim pleaded for forgiveness. According to him, his family and that of the victim are so close, but he didn't know uh, what or how and why such a thing happened to him. Oyeyemi said the state's commissioner of police, Larry Bankole, had ordered the transfer of the case to the state's criminal investigation department for further investigation and possible prosecution. Remember to like us on Facebook, Clairview Television. Follow us on Twitter at Clairview Online. Follow us on Instagram at Clairview TV underscore Andy. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Clairview TV.
Thank you for watching. I am Nkiru Obuli.